Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the fourth week of March 2022. Musician Taylor Hawkins died March 25, 2022, in Bogota, Colombia, at the age of 50. He was the longtime drummer for the Foo Fighters, known for hit songs including Learn to Fly and Best of You. Hawkins is being remembered as a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer who was voted Best Rock Drummer in a 2005 poll. Internet graphics pioneer Stephen Wilhite died March 14, 2022 at a hospital in Cincinnati. He died of complications of COVID-19 at the age of 74. He led the invention of the popular graphics interchange format, or GIF, which he pronounced GIF. Wilhite is being remembered for giving internet users a simple image format that lets us share animated pictures in our messages every day. Actor Papangorn Lurchalumput, who went by the nickname Beam on social media, died March 23, 2022, in Bangkok. He died in his sleep at the age of 25. He starred in the Thai Netflix show The Stranded, playing one of a group of students abandoned on an island after a tsunami. Lurchalumput is also being remembered for shows including Blue Wave and Sleepless Society Bedtime Wishes. Dancer Yuriko Kikuchi died March 8, 2022, in Manhattan at the age of 102. Best known simply as Yuriko, she danced with the Martha Graham Dance Company and on Broadway, as well as in the movie version of The King and I. Yuriko is being remembered as a pioneer of modern dance. Singer Jeff Carson died March 26, 2022, at a hospital in Franklin, Tennessee. He died of a heart attack at the age of 58. He was known for 90s country hits, including Not On Your Love and The Car. Carson is also being remembered for leaving the music business to become a police officer in Franklin. The world's oldest blogger, Dagny Carlson, died March 24, 2022, at the age of 109. She began blogging when she was 99 after taking her first computer class. Over the next decade, she became an inspiration and a popular influencer in her home country of Sweden. Carlson is being remembered fondly by fans in Sweden and around the world. Musician Keith Martin died in March 2022 at his home in Quezon, Philippines. He died of a heart attack at the age of 55. He was known for 90s R&B hits, including Never Find Someone Like You, which was featured on the Bad Boys soundtrack and Because of You. Martin is also being remembered for his career as a producer for EMI Philippines. Softball legend Joan Joyce died March 26, 2022, at the age of 81. She set many records as a player, and she was the longtime head softball coach at Florida Atlantic University. She was also a record-setting golfer and basketball player. Joyce is being remembered for striking out champion sluggers Ted Williams and Hank Aaron in exhibition games shortly after their retirements. Actor Scoey Mitchell died March 19, 2022, at a hospice care facility in Torrance, California. He died of kidney failure at the age of 92. He starred on the TV sitcom Barefoot in the Park and had a recurring role on Rhoda. Mitchell is also being remembered for frequent appearances on 1970s game shows, including Match Game and Tattletales.
Actor Paul Herman died March 29, 2022, in New York City on his 76th birthday. He was well known for his recurring roles as mobster Beansy on The Sopranos and as attorney Marvin on Entourage. Herman is also being remembered for performances in movies, including Goodfellas, Silver Linings Playbook, and The Irishman. Animator Carl Bell died in March 2022 at the age of 91. He worked on many movies, including Disney films such as The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Hercules, as well as Who Framed Roger Rabbit and The Lord of the Rings. Bell is also being remembered for his work on animated TV shows, including He-Man, Tom and Jerry, and Brave Star. Singer Tom Parker died March 30, 2022, of complications from glioblastoma at the age of 33. He was a member of the British boy band The Wanted, known for hits including Glad You Came. Parker is being remembered for his inspirational fight against cancer. He raised money for cancer research and shared his story in the documentary Tom Parker Inside My Head. Dr. Arthur D. Riggs died March 23, 2022, at a hospital in Duarte, California. He died of lymphoma at the age of 82. He was part of the team of scientists that created synthetic insulin to treat diabetes. Their discovery jump-started the biotechnology industry. Riggs is being remembered for saving countless lives with his scientific breakthrough. On March 28, 2022, six people were killed in a pileup of 80 vehicles in Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania. The names of the victims have not yet been released to the public at the time of this recording. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of Bonterra patrolman Lane A. Burns. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of Bluffton police officer Dominic Francis. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of four Camp Lejeune-based U.S. Marines who died during a training flight in Norway. Their names are Corporal Jacob M. Moore, Gunnery Sergeant James W. Speedy, Captain Matthew J. Tomkovich, and Captain Ross A. Reynolds. Flags in Arkansas have been lowered to honor the memory of former interim U.S. Senator for Arkansas, Kenister Hodges, Jr. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Navy Petty Officer Francis D. Joseph. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. As it happens, three big stars of movies and television died on the same day 20 years ago. On March 27, 2002, filmmaker Billy Wilder died of pneumonia at the age of 95. That very same day, actor and comedian Dudley Moore died of pneumonia at the age of 66 and comedian and actor Milton Berle died of colon cancer at the age of 93. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.